A mass spring system oscillates on a horizontal frictionless surface with an amplitude of 3.46 centimeters. If the spring constant is 267 newtons per meter and the mass is 0.46 kilograms, determine the mechanical energy, maximum speed, and maximum acceleration of the system. So to solve for the mechanical energy, I'm going to use the equation PE equals one half KX squared, where the potential energy of the spring is equal to one half times the spring constant times the uh, amplitude squared. So plugging numbers from this into this, I am going to get one half times the spring constant, which they tell us is 267, times the amplitude. So notice they gave us the amplitude in meters or in centimeters. We have to convert this to meters. So 3.46 centimeters divided by 100 is 0 0.0346 centimeter or meters. And don't forget this squared sign. Plugging into the calculator, you get 0 0.1598 or 1 1.60 times 10 to the negative 1. And since this is potential energy, this is in joules. So this is the total mechanical energy of the system. On to the maximum speed. The only equation that deals with speed or velocity is the equation for kinetic energy, which equals 1 half mv squared. In this case, we're going to set this equation equal to the equation for the potential energy that we just found, because initial potential energy is equal to final kinetic energy, you can say. So, one half, I'm going to plug the numbers in from what they gave us. For kinetic energy, one half, the mass of the spring is 0.46 kilograms. And we are solving for the velocity. And I'm going to set this equal to what we got in this solution 1.1598 so multiply this by 2 divide what you get by 0.46 and I get for v squared equals 0 0.6949 screw to both sides putting this into the calculator we get velocity equals 0 0.8336 meters per second or if you wanted to write it in scientific notation, 8.34 times 10 to the negative 1 meters per second because this is velocity. So this is the maximum speed of the mass. And on to the maximum acceleration. So we know that the maximum acceleration is equal to the amplitude times the angular frequency squared. We have to find the angular frequency first. So the angular frequency is equal to 2 times pi times the frequency. And we have to figure out the frequency first. The frequency is equal to 1 over 2 pi times the square root of the spring constant divided by the mass of the spring. So I'm going to plug numbers in from the question and get 2, 1 over 2 pi times the spring constant, which is 267, over the mass, which is 0 0.46. I'm going to plug this into the calculator and get 3.8344 as the frequency. To convert this into the angular frequency, we have to multiply this by 2 pi. We get the angular frequency to equal 24.0922. 
And then we plug this back into the original equation for the maximum acceleration. So the amplitude times the angular frequency squared. Amplitude they give us in centimeters, we have to convert it to meters and write it as 0 0.0346 times the angular frequency, which is 24.0922 squared. Don't forget the squared sign. And we plug all of this into the calculator and get our final answer as 20.08 meters per second squared or 2.01 times 10 to the first power meters per second squared because this is acceleration and that is what the maximum acceleration of the system will be.